Yeah, it's, it's always been like that. I mean, first drive is just filling it out. You know what I mean? You still got the butterflies. Um, my technique was was a little sloppy, and then I got out there the second drive and kind of picked up picked up from there. Um, really, yeah. I don't even remember to be. I mean, the six six and six seven right in front of me. I'm five. Like, what am I supposed to do? So um, I don't remember. I kind of just blacked out that play. Yeah. Well, you see them usually like blitzing out the net and dropping back to cover. Mm-hmm. How much does that allow you just to kind of settle in and showcase your ability? Yeah, I think you know in any defense, uh, the nickel's kind of unique just because you're like a linebacker uh, defensive back hybrid. Um, you know, Coach Shane, like, you know, he calls a great defense. I just do what I'm told to the best of my abilities, and then good things happen. It was so, it was really so much fun. Like, I mean, it's been like a slow burn just because I didn't play the first preseason game. And I, I knew, you know, this game, especially versus a team like the Bucks, um, it felt really special. It felt bigger bigger than myself, to be honest. Like, the plays that went on out there, like, it was good to get a text from my mom and, and uh, videos of, of, my, of my family's reaction of the plays and stuff. But, like, it feels bigger than me, you know what I mean? Like, um, I just want to give everything to the team. Like, a couple minutes ago, Ryan Tanhill was in there with gloves picking up trash. Like that's that's the, that's the type of team I want to play for. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, you can see me sweat right now. Like we're in Tampa. Like this this humidity is real. I play the whole game. Um, so yeah, I got some fluids in me. Yeah. I mean. Um, I, I don't know. We said that. We talked a couple times. Um, you, you know, I missed a couple of practices, and I came back, and then boom, right away we were competing against the defending uh, Super Bowl champions. So I felt like, you know, I needed to stack a couple of days together to get my rhythm, and I felt like I, f- I found my rhythm out there today. I was watching right now. What would you say his evaluation? You know, what would you say to him as far as like how you played? I'm only thinking about the plays that I can improve on. To be honest, like. You know, when I when I got tired, my technique started to slip up a little bit, and that's when your technique and fundamentals matter most. So I'll clean that up. How important was this full week of work for you getting to go against the kind of skill that these players and the Bucks have? Obviously, it's not great. I mean, they they have a lot of weapons, and like, you know, I didn't I didn't know what to do. I just kind of showed up and played ball. Like, I think the the biggest thing, uh, the rookies especially have have received from you know in terms of advice is just keep your head on a swivel. Um, just because anything can happen at one at any point, so that was kind of me this week. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's good to kind of go through this process with them, and you know, we've been watching film together, and and we communicate on the field a lot, um, and you know. It, Brady Brady didn't play this week, but in terms of just me and Caleb, it was good to um, have some have someone in the same process as me, especially someone who missed the first game, and this was kind of their coming out party. So yeah. You guys had so many guys making plays in the Yeah. 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 I mean, I think so, and, and really like. Whenever something like that happens or whenever a good play happens, it's really just us doing our jobs. Like, we practice tip drill almost every day. Um, you know, it's like the stuff we practice actually shows up in a game. And um, that, that, I mean, for me today, like, actually seeing the transition from practice to the game, like, it just solidified everything. You know what I mean? Does it make you look forward to practice more? Yeah, no doubt, for real. Like, I mean, we had, uh, I mean, just coaches preach about the little things, and every play um, where I made a mistake, it was just a little minor detail. Every play I, I ended up doing something good, it was me doing my job. Elijah, with the, with the intricacies of, of playing the slot, is there anyone in particular you watch or study extensively to, to really try and you know, master that? I've watched every, every slot on every team. Um, 
I like to watch old tape of Ronette Barber. Um, shoot. Uh, uh, recently, I watched a lot of Kenny Moore with the Colts. Um, so many, so many different players. What's the hardest part about this? Probably the space between myself and the receiver, because they're usually lined off the ball. I'm like three, four, you know, three yards away from them, and they're just really quick. So. Uh, right before the game. Um, I have a good relationship with everyone in that DB room, and he went down and he said, go ball out. And I really appreciate that, that from him and, and um, other more established players in, 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 the, in the DB room.